Nobody told you to have four wives, three Hellcats, and three mansions. No wonder you have no money. Your lifestyle is too fucking high. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. It's people with checks that's four hundred to five hundred dollars hanging on for dear life. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Hanging on for dear life. Some people really got it. Some people really don't. All right. Four things that is not true about trucking. In this clip right here, we're going to look at this young lady as she comes and lets you know the four things that is not true about trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Four things that are not true about trucking. Let's get it. There's no money in trucking. You should get out now. Find something else to do. First of all, nobody told you to have four wives, three Hellcats, and three mansions. No wonder you have no money. Your lifestyle is too fucking high. Number two, all truck drivers are rich. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. It's people with checks that's 400 to 500 dollars hanging on for dear life. Some people really got it. Some people really don't. Number three, truck drivers are never home. Like, ever. <laughs> yeah, they got this thing that's called regional or local where you could be home every day and or every weekend. OTR is not the only answer. I'm sorry, you do not have to go over the road. If you wanna go over the road, go over the road. Um, but there's other options. Number four, anybody could be a truck driver. Um, just because you can drive for a long period of time doesn't mean you're probably gonna be a good truck driver. Be for real. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So All right, guys, so what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Is this true? Are those top four things that are not true about trucking is true? What do you think? I mean, if you have a top four or maybe a top five, let us know in the comments below. But, I, I mean, I'm going to agree to an extent a certain instinct, I guess. Number one, where it says no money in trucking. Well, that is semi-true. I mean, there is money to be made in trucking. It depends on where you at in your experience level. And let me explain. If you're a beginner, then yes, there is no money in trucking for you because you're going to get with a starter company and your checks is going to be struggle checks you're going to be you know struggle but in the midst of that struggling you'll be gaining your experience now to me my opinion if you're already maybe two maybe three years maybe four five at least five years in the game then yes yes you should be making some money in trucking you should at least be talking at least a grand take home now let me stop right there a lot of people disagree some people even say a grand is is not but a grand to a person that didn't have it before that works when she said number two all truck drivers are rich well unless you got multiple streams of income you know i mean if you if you have a a a, a couple of trucks and some good drivers and some good accounts then you know you still not going to be rich but you're going to be comfortable you're going to be comfortable now, if you're an entrepreneur running your own trucking company, and I mean from getting your CDLs to getting your truck to getting uh, uh, the experience of running multiple trucks, then yes, you're going to be sitting pretty. But are you going to be rich, though? I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how your hustle is, you know? I can't say if you're not going to be rich or not. All I could just say is that nine, maybe eight, maybe seven out of 10, you know, drivers are kind of sitting pretty. 
But that's because I, in my opinion, this my opinion, I just think that they have multiple incomes, you know, multiple sources, not just trucking. Truck drivers are never home. Okay, in the beginning, you probably might not be home as much as you want to be, especially when you're out here trying to get your experience. Now, there are some companies, some companies that offers regional. Now, if you stay in a different state and call yourself trying to go local with a company that's in a different state, that's not going to happen because you're going to have to pretty much live within the radius of that terminal in order to be home every night because you got to drop the truck off either to be slip seated or you might get with a company that wants you to bring the truck back and not take it home but there are regional opportunities now luckily for you when you come in after you finish your training and you get your own truck you just might look up and get on a regional account you probably might look up and get on a walmart account you might look up and get on a kroger account you know you might look up and get no nah, i don't think you want the dollar he no 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 you no no you don't want the dollar accounts if they try to talk you into the dollar accounts about being home every week and all like that stuff there no tell them no you don't want the dollar accounts but there are there there are opportunities out there that if you look hard enough you will find a local company in your area that you might be able to be home every day enjoy your family enjoy your nightlife enjoy your clap session if you can't find that then you definitely could find some uh, regional that at least get you home on the weekend. Anybody could be a truck driver. You know, that's that's what these TikTokers tell you. They tell you, hey, go and get your CDLs. If you financial problems, get your CDLs. Home problems, get your CDLs. Uh, marital problems, spousal problems, family problems, get your CDLs. Yeah, yeah, yeah just because you can get behind the, the the wheel of a car or 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 four wheeler or or anything that has four wheels doesn't necessarily means that you can drive a 18 wheeler now now let me put it to you this way all right i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the script on you Yes, yes I am. I want to flip the script on. A lot of these trucks, a lot of these newer trucks that's out right now, that's coming out, that's being built right now, as well as these companies, they all going to automatics. Yes. What? Yes. They're all going to automatics. All you got to do is put it in drive and you can pretty you can pretty much drive a truck. But see, here's the kicker not everybody can maneuver a truck what what's the difference well you can maneuver a truck right you're not only driving the tractor but you're driving the trailer as well meaning that you got to keep your eyes on the trailer while you drive it because you could probably be going straight and the trailer could probably be swaying back and forth you got to keep not only the tractor between the lines but you got to keep you wait 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 you got to keep the trailer between the lines now here's the other caveat you can probably drive the truck not a problem drive straight forward without without no mishaps or anything like that but when you come up to a place where you had to back up that's where the experience comes in that that's where it takes the time because when you back up yeah that's when you're gonna know that if you can drive a truck or not and shout out 
to my Northeast drivers, my, my New York drivers, my New York City drivers. Shout out to them, okay? Because I said in the beginning that if you can drive New York City, Northeast, you can drive almost anywhere. My brother, don't believe me. I like to laugh.